So I decided to design um, a fume or fine dust, uh, ex fine dust extractor for my shop. I intend to place some around my shop and uh, of this design and uh, use one uh, exclusively for um, um, sucking away the solder smoke when I'm soldering something. And this is uh, a popular project. They have been done many like this before, but this is my take on it. So I'm reusing a 12 by 12 centimeter fan, which is quite powerful. It runs on, uh, on a line voltage, 230 volt, has about 30 watts. <coughs> it's, uh, it has metal casing, so it's quite a strong one. For filter material, I will use this um, combination filter, which is for um, extractor hoods, which you have in the kitchen. This is quite cheap material. I think this is like uh, 10 euro or so for both of these. That's this one. This one side is black, the other one is uh, white, <coughs> because the black side supposedly has some activated charcoal in it, which I assume might be helpful and the other one is just for the fine dust. So um, this is my 3D print and let's see how it is assembled. This is a 3D print straight from the printer bed. Um, I printed, printed it quite sturdy. You may might want to thin out the walls a bit to save on material, but uh, since it's going to be used in the shop, uh, st the sturdier the better, I think. So this is the lid and these are the clips to fasten the lid. Uh, the main part does not need any supports. It's, um, and the lid needs some small supports which can easily be broken off like this. This one also should be fine. Yeah, it's quite fine. Good. <clears throat> By the way, this is PTG. Um, I think it can be done in PLA also, but I like the PTG for layer adhesion and flex. So um, for projects like this, I like to use PTG. So now we need some some of the material. So just take the material you got. I take this um, white part to uh, be directed at the outside so that the, the dust particles do not clog up the activated charcoal, if that works. So there's also a small ridge here which uh, clamps the filter material, hopefully even a bit better. And now I designed these little clamps which are printed in, the dif in a different direction. They are print in, uh, printed in this direction, lying flat on the bed, so that they are they hold better in this uh, in this direction. Because uh, if I had printed them on here, these clips, I fear they may just snap off. So it goes like this. You can place these inside here. And I used uh, neon yellow just for shits and giggles. So uh, there we have it. You can also add the clips one by one later on from the front. Just start with one and then go around, but it's flexible enough to work for all. Snaps right in. Looks kind of good, I think, with the yellow. Nice color touch. So, 
let's see about the back. Um, I've printed the uh, M3 threads right into the material here. So there's a threaded hole. Obviously there will be some, um, it will not be 100% accurate because for a big object like this you use a larger nozzle, I used uh, 0 0.6 and a greater layer height. But uh, my experience is that the threads here hold well and are good enough. And I use my drill to, uh, to prep them so that uh, um, screwing in by hand is not that tedious. So, let's go. should be well enough. By the way, these are um, M4 by 12 millimeter screws, which is uh, what my print is designed for. And then let's see about the direction. Airflow this way, so it goes on like this. And I like to have my cable on the top, so I place the screws. together nicely I think. Direction is great. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Now let's attach the power cord. I've prepared that one right here. This is just for testing. For permanent insulation I will fix it and uh, make this a little bit more safe also. That obviously depends on what kind of uh, fan you use. If you use a 12 volt fan or, or another connector, so let's plug it in, and it hums, hums, hums away nicely. Yeah, and as luck would have it. Some small piece of plastic in the. Okay, it's gone. I was rattling a bit. But that should be nice. This is okay. Could have maybe done a better job with the edges here. But all in all, it's okay. I would probably loosen this up again and snap it, uh, snap it tighter. There we go, there's quite some suction. I will try to get a nice shot of it uh, when sucking away solar fumes now. So this way I realized that I should probably have cleaned up a little bit before doing a demonstration like this. Uh, yeah, let's plug it in. I like that the whole assembly just stands by itself on the fan and the fan has some weight to it, so it's quite a solid stand. And it's a big surface. Let's see how this goes and if I can, uh, you can see it on video. Um, okay, so here I have some nasty <laughs> uh, solar with uh, lead in it, which you use for repair st stuff still. Let's go. 
I hope this is visible. I'm a good 20 centimeters away and it goes round like this. So I can work here in this area and the fume gets the fumes get sucked this way. Probably difficult to see. Maybe something to dark to reflect. Some dark wooden board. Maybe this will show the white smoke even better. Let's see, I'm working here. Yeah, that's oh, that's nice. You can see, good 20 centimeters away, and all gets sucked, sucked away like this. Yeah, that's good. That's well. So, uh, and some nasty old. Flux, also pretty smelly and awkward form, uh, not form, smoke. Yeah, let's go to about 30 centimeters. Not optimal. Yeah, so like this, 20 centimeters is a good distance to work. And if you are really conscious, you can of course put a second uh, second fume extractor here, or maybe mount it upside down uh, above the, your work area, which might be even better. But I tend to hang over uh, the work with my head, uh, so it's better to get if, uh, if the fumes get sucked away to the back. Okay, let's do that. And maybe I have some dust or something. Should not be rare here. Uh, to see if dust also gets sucked away. Let's make a little wall here. And if you have some dust here. I thought it's stuck to wood. Should also be useful for fine dust. Let's find some fine dust. So let's pretend some fine sawdust got, got over from my uh, other work area. You can see, hopefully, it gets sucked in the direction. Let's do another test. Good idea to put sawdust all over my bench. Just for contrast.
so this is also good it sucks the sucks the fine particles out of the air without without being a complete nuisance noise wise or sucking everything else in also so you can see just particles have stuck to the filter material and to clean it up I tried this you can uh, just use your vacuum cleaner carefully and go across or use a new filter once it's completely full of stuff yeah that's it I hope you like my take on this uh, dust dust hood fume extractor thingy so yeah